In this video lecture, we will discuss about a very important topic that is concept of acid base. There are three concepts of acid base. One first one is Arrhenius. According to Arrhenius, an acid is a proton donor and base is a hydroxyl ion donor. Second one is Lewis acid base concept. According to Lewis acid base, acid is a electron acceptor and it is a base is a electron donor. Third, it is bronze state acid base concept. According to this Bronsted acid base concept, an acid, an acid is a this Bronsted acid base concept is very important. It also explains the conjugate acid base conjugate acid base mechanism. What is conjugate acid base mechanism? Suppose a reaction occur between an acid HCl and an water it gives hydronium ion and chloride ion. suppose it is a strong acid we know it is a strong acid therefore we also react with a strong water strong base in HCl according to Bonstead acid base <coughs> concept water act as a strong base this strong acid gives a is a conjugate base this will be conjugate base this is a weak base and this strong base will give a weak acid these are conjugate acid base pair this is also a conjugate acid base pair Bronsted uh, Bronsted acid base mechanism also explained that when two acids acid 1 and acid 2 reacts then the stronger acid stronger acid if we know the stronger acid will act as a acid then weaker acid will be a base for example if HCl an acetic acid which is a weak be weak acid acetic acid is a weak acid it is a strong strong acid it is a weak acid in this case it act as a HCl here in this solution it is acid and it is base applying these conditions this bronze state and this Arrhenius and bronze state we can find acidity and basicity of different inorganic compounds <coughs> such as p block hydride of p block oxo acid and different this kind of compound so let's see first we see the acidity of hydride of p block In P block, what we have carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Carbon has methane, NH3, water, and hydrogen fluoride. Since fluorine is highly electronegative, because of this highly electronegativity, the ability to donate this proton 
hydrogen is very high therefore its acidity will be very high and this acidity is goes like this if we going down the track down the group what we have get nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth in this case going down the group the size of the central central atom is increases because of this increase in size the ability to donate the proton is very high therefore the order will be goes like this therefore in a period across the period it acidity increases and down the group it also increases therefore this is the tra this is the trend of acidity therefore basicity will be opposite of that again you can find also from here we get this is a weak acid right this is a weak acid therefore it's donating a proton it can form so this is the conjugate base its basicity will be per so what we are saying since methane is a weak acid it gives a conjugate base which is a strong base therefore if we come again hydrogen fluoride is a strong acid it can dissociate it therefore it is the conjugate base of hydrogen fluoride this is this will be a weak base therefore if we come <coughs> compare the basicity order of hydrogen ions like nh2 oh negative and fluoride this will be increases like this this is the order of basicity this is decreases across a period same across the period it is decreases and down the group it also be decreasing so again we can also explain the acidic strength of oxo acid what is oxo acid oxo acid is a acid where a hydrogen is attached to electronegative atom oxygen and this oxygen is further attached to an another electronegative atom this acidity of hydrogen is depend upon the electronegativity of x and oxidation state of x if oxidation state of a is higher then it is higher then the ability to donate the proton the urge to donate the proton will be high therefore higher the electronegative and oxygen oxidation state of x will increases the acidic strength of the oxo acid suppose we consider an example this acid are oxo 
also a set. The structure of this one will be chlorine OH. Oh, only two oxygen will be there. Since here it is bromine. And this is iodine. So <coughs> electronegativity of chlorine is greater than the bromine. Therefore, the acidity of this compound, this acid, will be greater than this one. Therefore, the acidic strength will go like this. Again, if, if the acid have different oxidation states, suppose of the same element, if this is same, x is same, suppose we have chlorine, this is a hypochlorous acid, again chlorous acid, and this is what we have chloric acid. These are this is chloric acid, it's bromic acid, and it is iodic acid. And perchlorate acid. In this case, what we have got. The oxidation state of chlorine here is 7, 5, 3, and 1. Therefore, the acidic strength will be here will be more because this chlorine will attract the this bone pair more strongly. Therefore, acidic strength will be in this order now the concept of acid base of Arrhenius and Bronsted can also be applied in order to compare the relative strength of acidic relative strength of acids and base Suppose we have two acid, one is HCl, another one is acetic acid. No, not acetic acid. Suppose you consider hypochlorous acid. If we are supposed to compare the acidic strength of HCl and hypochlorous acid, then we, are, we have to dissolve these two acids in different two solvents, in two different solvents. Yeah, it is not hypochlorous, it is parchloric acid. Sorry, suppose we dissolve HL in water, then it will be totally ionized. If it is totally ionized, then HL will be a strong acid strong acid if we dissolve this HL suppose an solvent like acetic acid right in acetic acid it will dissociate partially so it will give chloride ion and this that is partially dissolved again we dissolve perchloric acid in water and acetic acid in both the case perchloric acid dissolve completely since 
in acetic acid it dissolve partially that is hcl is a here hcl is a weak acid but in acetic acid perchloric is a strong acid this is how we can compare relative strength of acidity or basicity of different acids this much is sufficient from arrhenius and bronsted concept further we'll discuss about lewis acid what is the requirement to be a compound to be a lewis acid